everybody. So this is a short reflection about our service learning project for health assessment. My name is Haley. So for my project, I discussed exercise for adults in their 20s. I talked about how much they need, how they can accomplish this need, the benefits, and how to safely do it. So from health assessment class, the thing I targeted the most was safety for adults who are exercising. The topics in class that stuck out to me the most for this topic were cardiovascular systems and the respiratory systems. I feel that when you exercise, these are two of the most important systems, along with the musculoskeletal system, that play a big part. The cardiovascular and respiratory present issues that we may not be able to see in regards to the musculoskeletal, which we can see most of the time. Well, we can see ourselves move. Well, I talked about how we need to be aware of our heart rate. If we have any heart issues, we need to be aware of it. So we need to monitor our heart rate while we exercise if we have problems and also be aware of our lungs. So some people have problems breathing and some people may have asthma. It's one of the chronic conditions we discussed in class. So I discussed with the group that if you have asthma or with my video, if you have asthma that you need to use your inhaler if you have one and to properly use your inhaler. I discussed the importance of using it 30 to 60 minutes before exercise begins so that you get the full effect of it. Because if not, you're really wasting that medication and you're not doing yourself any justice. So you wanna be sure that you're doing that. So I talked about that. And I also talked about your musculoskeletal system, importance of stretching. Lots of people forget to stretch. It's actually very important and something that people often forget about. So I wanna make sure that people don't forget to do that. I discussed you know, range of motion. You wanna keep that. But in terms of the community, some things I discussed were some health benefits. So diabetes is prevalent in our community. We live in a poor community, and studies have shown through sociology that in poor communities, you see high risk of obesity, diabetes, things of that nature, heart disease. So I discussed the benefits of exercise because it's important to note that when we're young, we're setting the foundation for our future. So when we are preventing diabetes and preventing obesity through exercise, we're really helping ourselves in the future. So that was something important that stuck out to me that I made sure to mention, you know, because people don't realize how easy it is to exercise and meet those minimal requirements to get these benefits. Because if you're just exercising a little bit, but not meeting these um, requirements, then you aren't really getting the full dose of it. So another thing I discussed was the prevalence of parks in our community. Robson County has many parks. So I made sure to discuss that and encourage people to go take walks in them to, you know, use them. There are resources that were given to us, you know, built for us. Make sure we take advantage of them. So, I, I mean, I know in my town of Fairmont that we have two parks and they're not used as they should be. So I encourage you to take a walk, make it easy, keep it fun, keep it safe, keep it socially distant. So I enjoyed this project. I thought it was fun. It was a good way to um, be a service member to the community. I like to help others, and it's kind of hard to in a time like this. So I appreciate the opportunity, Dr. Homer, and the service learning team at UNCP. Thank you.